What's up, y'all? Welcome or welcome back to another video. It's your girl Mia, and we back with the last Vegas vlog, y'all. Okay, we're going home tonight. I'm leaving out at 12 a.m. Ashley, right there. Okay, Ashley, right there. So Ashley's gonna be leaving out before uh, she gotta be at the airport about four. But we got uh, all day up in Vegas still, so we gotta figure out what we finna do, you know what I'm saying? Um, it feels amazing out here, it's a beautiful day. Last night we went to Club Dress, hang out with the kids, and we kicked it with um, Wiz Khalifa. Wiz Khalifa was up there, so yeah. So I just wanted to pick y'all up, introduce the vlog, we're about to get something to eat, do some things, just come along and y'all will see. Cause you had my mind blown. Oh, 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 Rather entered into thoughtfully, 
and seriously with a deep realization of its obligations and responsibilities. As your journey begins today as husband and wife, just want to ask you both to always remember, treat one another with the greatest and utmost respect. When times are difficult, and there will be difficult times, remind yourselves often of what it is that brought the two of you together in love in the first place. And remember this day, this wacky day, <laughs> your wedding day, right? Right on Las Vegas Boulevard. Um, if we hear honking, traffic is out, oh, yeah, or people yelling. Um, I'm just gonna stop for a second and let it pass, okay. all right? So that I just wanna explain to you that I didn't necessarily forget my words. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, so this is gonna seem like a, a little bit of a silly question because after all, you're here in a wedding chapel, dressed up and holding hands. It is obvious that we're here for a wedding, right? But the law still says I have to ask. So in that case, Sammy, do you take me up? to be your lawfully wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, to love, honor, and cherish her in sickness and in health, forsaking all others for as long as you both shall live. And that is a cute face you've got on. <laughs> <laughs> That's a cute face. <laughs> it would have been really weird if you didn't. <laughs> I wouldn't have been sure of what to do. It's never happened. Okay. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, Mia, same question. Do you take Sammy to be your lawfully wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, to love, honor, and cherish him in sickness and in health, forsaking all others for as long as you both shall live? I knew it. <laughs> Why else would you be dressed like this? <laughs> all right. All right, that's okay. Take just a moment to reflect upon the ring. The ring is an unbroken circle. It represents unending love. For as often as the two of you will look upon this ring or any other rings that you introduce while on your marital journey, that's me, may be reminded that as of today, you are indeed solidifying a lifelong commitment to one another. And of course, a true love never fails. And look at Unwavering. Nobody ran for an exit. Awesome. As continue. <laughs> You'll just repeat after me, Sammy. Mia, I give you this ring. As a token of my love and appreciation. And I give this ring with a promise. Look at that cheesy face. I promise to continue loving you. She's like, what is she going to do? I promise to take out the trash. <laughs> just teasing. Okay, you really should do that, but I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, loving, um, honoring. I promise, uh -huh, I promise to continue to honor you and cherishing you all the remaining days of my life. Surpassed the seven year itch. 
but who better than that, right? Okay, but the other thing too is that um, I'm an immunologist and I don't know if you believe in anything like that, but oddly enough, you say 10 years and 10 years marks the end of a cycle and the beginning of something new. Mm. So I think it's very interesting that you decided to do this after 10 years together. Um, but I do think it's obvious that the two of you have been together for a long time because your connection is amazing. Um, not only can I see it, but I can feel it by being this close to you. Um, I want you to know that I appreciate you affording me the opportunity to be a part of your journey. And I really mean that wholeheartedly because when I was married 30 years ago at the Excalibur Hotel, um, somehow I ended up with a wizard, but I didn't ask for a wizard, I got a wizard. <laughs> but I know that if I saw that wizard man somewhere on the street, I would know him. Um, 30 years later, I would recognize him, I'm sure of it, because he is forever etched in my brain and in my heart. Um, so it might seem like such a small detail, really, your efficient, um, and you know, it might be for now, and who knows. But um, for me, it was the tiniest thing. I never even put any thought into it. And the next thing you know, I would remember him anywhere. So for that, I really am grateful because um, there are so many dates in our lives that we really recognize or hold on to. And um, usually, it's a day like this, your wedding day, the birth of our children, and a death. Those are the three major events, right? The circle of life. Well, I didn't want to be an undertaker. <laughs> Being an OBGYN, that's not for me. <laughs> um, <laughs> right? But I get to take part this way. And no matter how small it is, it's huge to me. So I really do appreciate it. This is also the part where I'm supposed to give advice, but I don't because I don't think anybody knows what they're doing. I think that if they try and tell you they do, it's a lie. We all just did it one day at a time. And one day became two weeks and two years, and the next thing you know, 20 years, 30, and so on. And just because it worked for them in their marriage does not mean it's gonna work for the two of you in yours. Mm -hmm. But everybody here in attendance today does have a responsibility, and that is that if you do turn to them for advice or a hug or comfort, they have a responsibility to see to it that this marriage is successful and that they don't speak poorly of one or the other of you. Mm -hmm. All right, that said, okay, are we ready then for a grand finale? Yeah? yeah? All right, I'm gonna put this down because I like to clap for you. <laughs> okay, don't go away afterwards, I just want you to stay here, you face that direction holding hands, and I'm going to announce you, okay? All right, by the power vested in me, by the great state of Nevada, it is my pleasure to pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. <laughs> So yeah, we got married. It just feels like another day. <laughs> what? That's all it feels like. It's just, you know, because it is. I don't feel like since we've been together so long, it's just, we made it do what it do. That's, that's, that's that. But we did our thing over at a little white chapel. The, um, the marriage, what, what was she? What was she called? Uh, uh, officiant. Officiant. She was really good. She was really good. They got Elvis. Oh, we gotta get a picture right there. No, but yeah, yeah. Come on, let's go. Did you figure it out yet? 
Is it chicken wings? There's the popcorn sauce. All right, so, yeah guys, so I was keeping a secret for a while. So we came to celebrate Kez's birthday, but we also came here to get married as well. Just, you know, something quick, nothing. I never wanted an actual wedding anyway, so it's just something for us, you know? And then we'll have like a big party with the family and all that type of stuff next year at the reception. But yeah, so my last night will be changing. All right, let's uh, take this picture. It was a beautiful day for real. The weather is just right. It ain't too hot. It ain't too cold. All right, guys, so we're going to go check out Davies. We have some chicken wings. I looked up the place. I got 4.7 stars. So. Good, right? Yeah. Yeah, let's see what this is about. Them chicken wings do look good. So come along and let's see what we can see.